Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make the St. Patrick's Day clover leaf hair ties. All you'll need is a little bit of green yarn, an elastic hair tie. It can be whatever color you have on hand. We're going to cover it with the yarn. And for this project, I am using a six millimeter crochet hook. This project is really easy and fun and especially comes in handy when you have little kids who want to dress up with a little something for St. Patrick Day parties. You can see we create these little shamrock leaves and if you want to make a four leaf clover here and there, you just add another little leaf. It's really easy, just takes a few minutes and you come out with this really cute little hair tie. You can use green for St. Patty's Day, but honestly, any color looks cool. We are going to start by putting a slip knot right on our hook. Grab your hair tie and put your hook directly through it. You can put your finger on your hook to kind of make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Grab your working yarn and just yarn over and pull a loop up through the hair tie and yarn over again and pull through both of those loops and that will secure your yarn to your hair tie. The first thing we want to do is work a single crochet all the way around. You want that first row to be pretty evenly covered. So when you stretch it like this, you don't see much of the actual hair tie. I'm going to go ahead and chain one and then just work single crochets all the way around. You put your hook in from the front, go to the back, yarn over, pull up that loop, and single crochet. And you want to do this until your whole hair tie is covered. And when it stretches out, not much of the hair tie shows. If you don't put enough single crochets around your hair tie, when you go to stretch it, it won't stretch as much as you need to get into your hair. So I'm just going to work single crochets all the way around and then we can start working those cute little shamrock clovers. Once you've gone around and you've kind of pulled your hair tie to make sure that you don't have too much of the elastic showing and where you can still put it around your fingers like that. Now it is time to work the little clover shamrocks. So you, first of all, you want to make sure that your tail is down here and none of this has gotten twisted around. So you want to make sure that all of your single cro crochet stitches are facing outward. Once you have made sure that they're all facing outward, you can slip stitch to the top of that first single crochet to join that round. Now we can put our little shamrocks on. I'm going to chain seven. Once you have chained seven, you want to slip stitch to the fourth chain away from the hook. So one, two, three, four, that stitch right there, we're just going to slip stitch. You've created that little mini ring. You want to flip it to the left and we are going to work into the center of it. So chain four and do a treble crochet into that center little ring that you've made. We're going to continue to work into that center. We're going to put a double crochet. 
and a treble crochet. We're going to chain four and slip stitch into that space. And we have our first little leaf. We want to work two more leaves and if you want a four leaf clover you can go ahead and work three more leaves. But we do them all in the same way. We start with a chain four, a treble into that little ring, a double crochet into that ring, a treble into that ring, chain four, and slip stitch. And that is leaf number two. I'm going to do this one more time. Chain four, treble, double, treble, chain four, and slip stitch. And now we have three little leaves. If you want another one, if you want a four leaf clover, go ahead and make another one. Once you slip stitch into that ring with your last leaf, we are going to slip stitch back along the rest of those chains back down to our hair tie. And when you get to the hair tie, I like to slip stitch into that same stitch that we chained out of. And you've got one little leaf, one little shamrock or clover. I'm going to go ahead and separate my little clovers by doing four single crochets in between. So I've done three, going to go ahead and do one more single crochet and do another leaf. Chain seven, and slip stitch back into the fourth chain from the hook. Once you have that little ring, flip it to the left, chain four, and start your clovers. Treble, double, treble, chain four, and slip stitch all in that same ring. I'm going to do two more leaves, S slip stitch back along this chain, single crochet, four in between each leaf, and start another leaf all the way back around. All right, so I have just worked my last little clover I have this little space left. I'm going to work single crochets back along until I get to that first clover that I did. And I'll just find a stitch where I can slip stitch and then I can fasten off. All right, so you can see that these clovers are a lot bigger than the ones I did here. If you use a bigger hook, so for this one in the tutorial I used a six millimeter crochet hook, this one I used a five millimeter. Same size weight yarn, just a smaller hook. I have more little clovers on this one 
and less clovers on this one, but they're larger. So it's just a per personal preference, whatever you want to do. If you want them to be noticeable and, you know, really out there in your hair, go with the bigger hook. Another note for this project, you can customize how close or far apart you want your clovers to be. For this tutorial, I just did four single crochets in between each clover. You can choose to do less, so you can do two or three single crochets if you want them to be closer together. If you want them to be further apart, then you would just crochet single crochet more stitches in between your the start of your little clovers. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming tutorials. Happy St. Patrick's Day and happy crocheting everyone. Bye!